Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk, and today um, we've got an unboxing. Uh, what we've got in here, um, I'll describe this as um, modern retro stuff, shall we, shall we say. Basically, um, was it last week? Yeah, last week I picked up a, um, a Nintendo Wii, um, a charity shop. Um, a boxed, it actually quite nice in box. Um, in really quite nice condition. Actually, I'm halfway through doing a video, um, an unboxing video and a setup video on it. And I got halfway through and started unboxing it, and I suddenly realised it's all there, but there were no controllers with it. Um, which, kind of with a Nintendo where you sort of need the um, controllers. I've got the um, infrared bar and everything else, I just had absolutely no controllers for it. And to be honest, I didn't have any Nintendo Wii controllers. I've got controllers for just about every other console um, reeler that's out there, but I have nothing for the Nintendo Wii. Apart from a couple of nunchucks, which uh, weren't really that much use. Um, so, um, you've got a couple of options when that happens. I could have gone on eBay and you can get a good, tested, um, in nice condition um, Nintendo Wii controller delivered for around about the 20 quid mark. Um, ratty working ones start at about a tenner, um, but a really nice clean one, one you'd want to like put with a nice box system, you're looking around the 20 quid mark. Um, and that's exactly what I paid for this box. Uh, this was £20 delivered, and there's a lot more than a couple of Nintendo Wii controllers in here as well. That's what I, I saw the box. Um, it was a little more than uh, £20, but I put an offer in, and my offer was accepted. So, uh, I thought what we'd do in this video is um, open this up and actually have a look what I got for my um, £20. So, um, let's get started. Hopefully, at the very least, I'll be able to get a couple of uh, working uh, Nintendo Wii controllers out of this. There are a few in here, and a few batteries and charging stations and that kind of stuff for the Nintendo Wii. That's why I, like I said, that's why I jumped on this um, on this lot. But there's also some other random um, this paper looks interesting. Um, Right. What on earth has it been packed with? Health and medicine. From night. Wow. Oh, this. What a shame this has been used as packing. Um, Science Digest Special, winter 1979. This this uh, I'll have to dig all this out. This look this is too interesting a stuff to um, to just dismiss. I'll I'll pull all this out and I'll actually go through that. Doesn't look like there actually might be something quite interesting there. I've never come across vintage. Uh, we've got vintage magazines with modern uh, modern retro um, hardware. Yeah, it looks like they've ripped up some. Like old vintage magazine just to use as packing. Oh, check this out. Give you an idea of like the kind of age. What a shame they just wrecked wrecked a magazine like this. Just for just for packing material. Oh never mind, let's get all that out of the way and I'll probably go through that after. Right, let's, uh, let's start getting some of this stuff out. Put some microphones there. Or this poor magazine that they destroyed. One controller. So um, very rusty end on it. Is that um, GameCube? 
I think that's Nintendo GameCube. Or N it's either N64 or GameCube, that. This is more what I was um, interested in. So these are quite nice. This is, I mean, obviously these aren't original um, Nintendo stuff, but they'd be handy for testing. So we've basically got all the um, Nintendo Wii controls there, but it's actually a proper, a controller more like what I'd be used to using with a wired cable on it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's absolutely no um, Nintendo's market markings on it, so it's definitely aftermarket. But um, that's this is the kind of thing, the reason that I got it, because these are just handy. Because I've got other Nintendo Wii's that I've picked up over time, which um, I need controllers for as well if I'm going to do anything with them. So I've got that. Let's get the rest of this magazine out of here if we can. There we go. Ah, uh, here we are. That's more like it. Right, now we can actually start seeing what we've got. So, say, uh, Nintendo Wii. In fact, let me move the box off to one side and then we can uh, kind of get the stuff out and have a quick more of a look at it. Yeah, let's do that. So let's set them back in. We've already had a look at that and the uh, controller, so stick that to one side. Um, these are for the Wii. Um, basically we have rechargeable batteries in them uh, which is the death of most uh, Nintendo Wii controllers by the um, by the um, look at it. But that's um, a charging station for the um, for the controllers. Right, so we'll stick that to one side. Let's have a look in this bag. I think we just got all sorts of just. What's that for? We've got a 500 gig, um, two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive there. I'm guessing that's either PlayStation or Xbox. Um, by the look of it, I don't know which. I'm guessing that's uh, that's for a PlayStation or an Xbox. I'll find out what that fits. I mean, I do have PlayStations and Xboxes lying around that that might that might be useful for. If not, and it works, it's just a useful 500 gig hard drive. Um, always handy. Three and a half to three and a half um, stereo jack leads. That's 2.5 to, um, that's kind of thing that like the uh, little Nintendo game consoles and um, you know, the Nintendo on a chip type stuff use for their outputs, so they're handy. That's a uh, Nintendo Wii battery. Looks like that started to leak, but that's what will basically fit in the docking, you know, the docking station like that. That's what those are for. Go in there and charge. We could probably rebuild those, to be honest, because there are only iCads inside. Another three and a half to um, three and a half stereo jack lead. Again, they, they, these are just handy cables to have a, have about. That's a nice one. A little bit bent, but um, again, you can never have too many of them. Random USB cables again, always handy. I haven't got a clue what that's for. Android and iOS. I haven't a clue. I'll have a look. I'll have to look that up. We will find junk in here as well. That's quite handy. Yeah, that's just a uh, 3.5 extension cable. There's loads of useful, um, useful little cables in here. USB to um, presume that was some form of charger, but it's incredibly uh, 
incredibly gunked up. British something to do with the British Transport Police. Rubbish. We've got some more of those Nintendo Wii batteries. That one's very, very um, corroded. That one doesn't look too bad, but these, we could probably rebuild them with new cells in them. And put all this back in that bag. Oh, some headphones. Don't look like anything exciting, completely unbranded, just, yeah. Probably go in the bin then. But the um, 3.5 to 3.5 jack leads and stuff like that are always handy. You never have too many of them. Right, let's see what we've got else in here. Now these are Nintendo. These are knockoff, um, I believe, um, Nintendo Wii controllers. But these have just gone horrible and sticky. They're that horrible, you know, that uh, plastic that goes sticky. Um, but we should be able to use bits out of them. So they're not original ones. They're aftermarket, I think. But um, they probably actually work fine, and they've only been stuck in this lot because they've gone all sticky and horrible. The insides are absolutely fine. So I could probably use these for testing to be honest. Just need to clean all that gunk off them. Get another one exactly the same. So they're absolutely fine inside. It's just that outside um, plastic coating that they stuck on them which went nasty over time. We can clean all that off and um, we can still use those. They'll be good for testing with. Have a look at what else we've got in here. That's rubbish. We'll go straight in the bin. I believe that's. Is that a, a real Nintendo one or not? No, I don't think it is. I think that's from one of them cheap aftermarket um, kits. I think that is as well. Yeah, because it's um, they have a Nintendo trademark on there, and it's not. It's something um, Big Ben made in China, so they can go in the bin. Okay. Now I thought that was for something else, but that is actually for a um, a Wii. Got a Nintendo Wii um, plug on there. We've got a nice D, D pad in, like kind of the you know original Nintendo style. Hmm. At first, I thought that was um, a real one, but it's not. That's an um, Atari style joystick connector. TB, TA, B and A. I have a feeling I know what this goes with. I think that goes with that. Now is that a real one or is this some kind of um, dodgy little knockoff? I'm not sure. Family computer. I don't think this is a real um, NES Mini. It's um, kind of like a dodgy knockoff one by the look of it. But that's something else we can have a play with. Yeah, it's going to be fun to have a um, fun to have a play with in a future video and see if we can get it to do anything. Let's see what else we've got. We've got another controller. I presume that's for this as well. Like the Super Nintendo style one with not working on it. But considering the, I mean, they are cheap and plasticky, but they don't actually feel too terrible. And um, to be honest, these could possibly be rewired and used for other, you know, other systems. Let's see what else we've got in here. Ah, yeah. Got another of them um, handheld controllers. Again, I don't like the fact that the bike comes out of the bottom on these, but um, I think this is an official one. 
think it's an official one. I can't see Nintendo on the back there. You'd expect to see Nintendo in that little window there, and it's not. So I don't know uh, whether that is an official one or not. But it should do the job. Down feels a bit dodgy on there, so I'll have to have a look on that. Aha! This is what I really wanted. And it does not look like it's got battery leakage to it. Which is a big problem with these. Let's get rid of that. There's possibly a tiniest, tiniest touch up there, but it doesn't look bad. Because it, basically I've seen these and it's been green all round here. All down here and all in that connector there. And when you open them up, the basically the components just drop off the board when they're in that state. This one... A tiny little bit of corrosion around that spring there, but apart from that, it doesn't actually look bad at all. That one should clean up and be quite a nice, um, quite a nice controller, I think. Let's see if we can get the uh, yeah, that that fits. So that should um, hopefully be quite a nice controller. Put that there next to that one. couple more docks very very much similar to the um, other one we saw again none of these are um, like official um, official Nintendo ones but um, if they work we might be able to do something with them we've got. got a unofficial nunchuck there. Again a little bit on the sticky side that would have gone with um, that as a pair. What else have we got in here? Another dock there. Quick shot one. And another dock, you know, that's the final dock. Another blue light one. Then we've got well, an Xbox 360 um, headset. That's not in too bad a condition. I mean, just because it says Xbox 360, it'll work with anything. It's just a standard... Um, Headset and microphone, to be honest. Not too much interest to me. These are. I want to see how good these are. Some um, Logitech um, USB microsco microphones. I don't want to say microscope there. These might actually sound quite decent and be quite useful. Two of them. And oh well, two of them and I think it's basically the same thing. Well just with some Disney uh, branded on it, but it basically it looks like it's exactly the same micro microscope. Microphone, not microscope, what am I saying? Yeah, because it even has the same little um block on the yeah. Yeah, these, these are Logitech, it's just the branded up Disney. We've got three of those to play with, see if they work. What else have we got? One last thing. I keep seeing people doing little reviews of things like this on, um, on YouTube. And they're only cheap, they're only like 18 quid or something like that. Um, brand new but it's basically it's like a little it's one of those what's well, actually has a, um, a battery in it oh well full style battery but it's one of these like nintendo on a chip type 
it just works. Is it going to do anything? Or is that all it does? Is that's why it was um, in the box? Yeah, so it comes to its main uh, menu and that's all it does. Try it again. Let's switch off. Try switching it on. Is that all she wrote? Or perhaps the battery is just so flat it won't um, it won't power up. You can't power um, can't power the screen up. I don't know. I'll we'll play about with that anyway. So yeah, um, that's what I got for my um, that's what I got for my twenty quid, and that did at least include the um, it did include the postage. So that wasn't the end of the world. I'm kind of interested to see what that does if we um, give that some power. Um, yeah, I'll um, I'll reset the camera and I'll clear some of this off and let's let's see if that actually is going to do anything. So uh, back in a sec. Right, okay. Well, I've got set up. I've got my little uh, monitor here, and this is definitely one of these cheap little Famiclone kind of things. It's not a um, NES uh, Mini or anything like that. It just looks like one. Uh, but let's see if it works anyway. It'd be handy to know if it um, actually does anything. Let's get that out of the way. Um, this is actually the wire off off that thing, but um, it should work anyway. Because they're all basically exactly the same. There probably won't be much difference inside between the two actually. Apart from that's got a screen. Right, red to that, up to that. We should be able to plug this into there like that. Right. And then we need some power. And again, we can use the cable from the other one. They really, really uh, give you a nice long cable to plug it in, don't they? Plug that in. Let's see if this does anything. No, it's dead. Nope, that's dead. We're not even getting a light, power light. Let's take it to bits. Let's pull it apart and see what we've got inside it. Just, I think we'll just get it with that. Yeah. Yeah, someone's already been in this because it's got two of the uh, little pads that hold the hide the screws missing. What does it actually have four though? I might have cheapened out that much. See if there's anything obvious. To be honest, a little case could be handy for something. It'd be quite a nice little case to use as a project box if nothing else. If it's small enough and neat enough. Right, let's have a look inside here now. Screws have gone everywhere. There they are. There's the four screws. Ah, right. That might have something to do with it. Well, there's the connector. You make that out. There's the connector. There's the board. Right, that's not going to work, is it? This might actually be a really simple fix. 
and there's your NES. That big glob there, that's your NES, and that there's your flash memory with all the games on it. That's literally how simple these things are. still there, one capacitor. There's like under a dozen components, perhaps a dozen components on the entire thing. That is how cheaply uh, how cheaply made this is. I don't know if we can get that, there we go, that just slides out. There we are. Get the case out of the way. Let's get the iron on. Pop that out of there. I can't see anything broken on that connector at all. Let me get you zoomed down in it. Oops, I'm going to focus in. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. So literally the connector should be soldered on there like that. And the connector is just it's, it's literally as though the solder never took when that was um, that was fitted and uh, it's just you know it's just not never soldered on um, properly the joint's been dry. It's just broken free. So let me get you zoomed out a little bit. Oops, that's the wrong way. There we go. Let's try that. So I wonder how hard it will be um, for me just to solder this, um, solder this back into place. All right. Um, I'm going to need some. I'm probably done with a different, uh, different tip in my iron actually, but we'll try and do it with what we've got. Solder there, and what we will need is some flux. I've got a flux pen in here, yes, I do. some fresh flux to it. It literally looks like it didn't flow when it was originally soldered. When I hold that there and I get that in place I can actually hold that exactly where it was. So I can see where it's broken away from the um, solder there. So if I reflow that like that come around this side and just make sure that's lined up where it was before. Again I just go in there, solder that. There we go, that's that one done. Go back, re-solder that one. 
and we should be able to just nip in and just drag solder these pins like that let's add a little bit more uh, flux and solder there so I could really do with a slightly smaller uh, a very slightly smaller bit on my soldering iron but we can do it, we can manage with that. Add a little bit of extra flow flux. In fact this flux pen is getting very empty now. Go in. Let's reflow, reflow those. It's nearly there. I'm just going to need a little bit of solder break because there's two there that have just bridged that I can't quite get to unbridge so just bear with me a second folks I'm just going to get some solder braid and sort that out and we'll be right back. Apologies for that I forgot to um, press the camera again but there we go that's all done and now so just went in with a little bit of solder braid basically on the two pit on the well there was three pins at the end there that are bridged just put a little bit of solder braid on like that heated it up with the iron until I saw the solder flow pull it away and we've got a nice clean unbridged joint there so that's repaired so you can zoom you in a bit so you can see a bit closer hopefully that'll focus so yeah that basically don't know if you can make that out but that's now reattached so that's nice and firm there soldered that side that side and we've got all the contacts there soldered back in place Let's see if it's actually going to work whether it's actually going to do anything let me, uh, let me zoom down oops wrong way Get you zoomed out a bit. Get you zoomed up a bit. There we go. Right, is it going to actually power up and do anything? Let's see. Possibly not. No. Still not getting anything from the LED there getting anything actually out of it we'll plug it in. Can we get something for a second then? No. We're making decent contact with all them pins there now, so we're getting voltage onto the board. So I don't know what happened to this poor thing. And to be honest, there's not a lot of you know, um, not a lot of point in spending a long time fiddling about with something like this. The case is actually probably more used to me than the actual thing working. It just um, a quick see, see if we could actually get the thing to um, power up quickly. But yeah, so we've got good, uh, we've got good contacts on all those pins where that had come off. So I don't know why that's not. Um, there must be something completely dead on the um, on the main board. Oh, hang on, that's just powered up now. It's just powered up now. I'm not getting anything out of it, but try them the other way around just in case. There we go. It's working. <laughs> so that's all that was wrong with it. Right, so we've got 500 in one. Um, let's see if this control is going to work. We'll see how good this thing is. At least it seems to be working on that screen. So it must be PAL rather than NTSC because I don't think this one will work with NTSC. Let's plug a controller in and see if. Oh, we. 
We've obviously got an iffy connection somewhere still. Either that or he doesn't like that controller being plugged in. I think that switch is a bit dodgy because when I uh, when I redid that switch, then it um, it come back on. Right, let's plug the controller back in again and see if we get anything. That's not doing anything. Let's try the other side. Oh, there we go. So we've got Mega Man 3, Little Samson, Turtles 2, Turtles 3, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden 2. Little. Let's see if there's anything that I... Um... It's the usual thing where there's a lot of them. It's just, it's just the same um, game um, over and over again. We've got Mario. Angry Mario. What's Angry Mario? Let's try that. Super Mario Brothers. Right. Okay. Uh, volume. Have we actually got any audio? I'm not getting any audio coming out of it, but... Oh yeah, there we go. Well, it works well enough for what these crappy little things are. Let's see if we can reset it. Uh, there we go. And now the audio is working. Mega Man 3. Well, we can see it works. I'll switch that off now. So, um, I suppose I'll put it back together for the time being. Um, so it's not something I'm exactly enthralled with. But it does work. I've got it going again. So yeah, like I said, I'm more interested in the, uh, in the decent Nintendo uh, Wii controllers. Hopefully I can get that original one um, up and running. Hopefully I can clean some of the gunk off um, some of those um, aftermarket ones with that horrible um, stickiness to them. I have, uh, you know, I've had stuff like that in the past. Actually, I've had a few things that have um, been like that, and you can clean it off and get it back to a state where it's not sticky anymore. Um, and like I said, they they do for my own personal. Uh, my own personal use and a nice um, a nice original controller to go with the uh, nice boxed Nintendo Wii that I've got like I said I've got another couple of Nintendo Wiis which I don't actually know whether they work well I don't know if any of it works or not yet because I uh, stopped the video and I realised I didn't have a controller like I said there will be another video coming up uh, relatively soon uh, on me finishing that and we can have a look at that that mint, well when I say mint it's in very nice condition Wii that I uh, that I got from the charity shop and there's nothing else to go in there, oh yeah there's two screws to hold that in isn't there? Like that. put 
va à part quelle heure yeah that looks all right don't like the way that that's held in they are like super super cheap when they make these things like that they give you how many screws to hold this in seems to use there's our four screws for that and then it seems just has a piece of that over there to hold them hold them buttons into where they should go and then that just pushes down on top like that okay Let's put the screws back in and then we'll see if it still works And I've got a screw left over and I really don't care. So the most likely this will end up getting used because that case looks quite nice and I'm sure I could house something like to us that how that case would be nice to house like a perhaps a Raspberry Pi uh, set up or something like that for retro gaming in. Um it would look quite sweet that. That's possibly what I might end up using it for. Because I've got a couple of spare um all Raspberry Pi is kicking about. So I could put you know, like a NES and Super NES um, emulator on one of them old Pies. Oops. And then stick that in this box some control oops with some controller ports you know uh, wired up to them ports at the front there we go that's all back together let's give it one last try shall we well now we've got it all back together see if it still works not in there that in there. That in there. Let's plug it in. See if it's going to still work. Uh, it comes on. Perhaps that went. There we go. So yeah. Um, well, if nothing else, you've seen a little repair in this video. I will have a fiddle. I will have a fiddle about with that more when I've um, I've got some more time. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Like I said I weren't really planning on doing a video, but I thought I'd have a look what was in this box and share it with you. Um, I said I was certainly weren't planning on doing any uh, repairs in this video, but when it's something like that and it's it's worth having a little fiddle with, see if it'll come back to life. So uh, yeah, I will have a. Uh, in fact, what I can do. Because that cable's actually not from this, it's from this. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, sod it. Let's see if this is going to do anything. If we actually plug it in like that, and we plug it in like, like that, and switch on. We're going to get any video out of it. this did come on when we first tried it perhaps it'll have to be left to um, charge I don't know which is on which is off that's off there and it comes red for charging but it won't seem to power up hmm. it won't seem to power up um, with it plugged in and charging, and we're not getting anything. I thought we just got a flash out of the screen. Look, I must be that switch in between. Okay. 
if nothing else, the screen in this might actually be quite useful for something. If this can just output a composite signal. Yeah, um, I might play with that in, a, um, in an upcoming video. We'll do a little bit of a tear down on it and uh, see if we can do anything perhaps with the screen out of it or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now because this is already rambling on a little bit. So I will say uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.